Hello everybody, this is Jen Jeff here. I just nearly crashed my computer starting the recording. This is a game I had Saturday. It's a 4v4. I think it was supposed to, supposed to be a conquest match, but it kind of turned into a total destruction, which is kind of weird because when I click the replay, it's listed as conquest. A uh, glitch, I guess, but oh well. So it's me... Newport, HK, and I'm going to call this guy Kuro. Against Buddy, Hensai, Phoenix, Austria, and Hafer. Probably the only time in the game I actually mention their names. <coughs> in the video I mention their names, at least like that. Uh, yep. Buddy is going... Buddy on the other side is, taking, is going to attempt to take Julia and Lima. And I think... Oh... This guy takes Lima and, well, Juliet maybe. KK is, HK is going this way. And Ohio is going to be with him. They're going to be working with each other on the right. I'm going for Bravo and Foxtrot. And Newport's going for Delta. We'll be working together. Even though it's not really coordinated like that, it just kind of ended up happening. On the other side, we have... Hafer going this way, and Phoenix is going to grab that. No one has claimed Delta, because that's why Buddy's got a bunch of question marks. Hence, I has Golf as well. There as well. And why is it kind of just being really... Okay, there's no reason for that pause there, game. Seriously. Hence, I has this, and Golf. And this guy here, Buddy, is focusing on Lima, as I had mentioned earlier. I'm going to look at it from this side because I'm deploying over here and I have my usual Polish army which is really nicely set up for these conquest maps. Really nicely set up for conquest. <coughs> uh, confused. Yeah, Hafer's going to try to take us once he secures Fox and he's asking for help. Phoenix is going to send in some infantry. Now this took a, <coughs> a while, so let's speed this up to get through the deployment, shall we? Times five. Now I'm, I'm all deployed. This is Newport. He's got his OSA AKMs, a re uh, command helicopter, and these MI4Ps. MI24Ps. I've got my infantry and trucks, Maliukas and Strellas with a command unit that's actually going to go into Bravo and this command helicopter which is going to go into there pausing and then these two helicopters and my seven BKLs over here this thing's going to go into Charlie what we have here is these two Scots a BRM from HK all these are HK's Scott Scott two T-72M Jaguars and some Strellas my game keeps freezing. Okay, don't know why it's doing that. And then this guy's got his MI-8s with infantry, some Cubs, BMP-1s, and that. That's pretty much his setup there. NATO's got their Hueys with Marines in it. I'm assuming these are Marines. Can't tell. Probably not. One of these guys had a marine deck. He's got his Leopard 2i4, so this is a mixed deck that we probably got here. Yeah, mixed decks. He's got his Humvees there. Humvee over there to guard that. Over here we've got a bunch of Lynxes, so British equipment there with Chieftains, Flak Panzers, Rollins, and AMX, which really didn't help them. And then this guy's got a bunch of M13A1Gs over there. Is this... What country is this? This is German. And let's go. <coughs> so my guys immediately head off on the road to the left, and these guys come in. My idea is, if they're going to get here quickly, they've got to take the roads. Block the road, block the road, block the road. And that's where these napalm bombers come in. This one drops, then gets shot out, oh, shot out of the sky. Oh well, but he still blocks the road. Road is blocked, and now that road is blocked as well. And these guys get out. Freaking Tomcats. 
And we're froze again. We are less than one minute into the game. I will be back. Okay, continuing on. I just shut some stuff down to try to get the performance to boost up a little bit. I'm having issues that I'm not really quite figuring out on this computer. <coughs> some performance issues. So this guy comes in and unloads everything right there, or at least tries to. Takes out half the helicopters in one swing there. Lost most of his anti-aircraft right there. That's a pity. Oh. Now that his guys are up landed and dropping off stuff, the Kiowa is using its hellfires against helicopters. Nice. But to help out with that issue, here comes the 7, the SU-7BKL. Napalming everything! Twats. These guys are fighting in here with Marines. There are Marines in the town in Echo. And there's conflict going on in here. Wasn't all that particularly effective. HK also has some bombers. So we've got Delta. We've got this Alpha Jet here, dropping stuff, getting ready to drop bombs. I see them coming, and scatter everything just in time. It completely misses. Almost hits. They, they might have lost a plane. But I saw these guys coming in, so I set fire to the woods there. Get in a position to call stuff, because I have, for the moment, I've grabbed it. And that's the status. At the moment, they've got those three, we have these three. Plus this one puts us ahead in points. I see them coming with infantry. Napalm it. I don't know what Newport's doing, but that thing ends up dying. It does conveniently distract these guys for a moment. Boom! So much stuff explodes! All this is still on fire. That was got hit by something. SAS using blowpipes probably hit it. Takes one of the helicopters out. SAS are having a field day because helicopters are so close. Right. More napalm is hit. Motor strike here in the town. And those guys are in a good position. Wow, there's nothing left on the right compared to what they have. They could actually just stampede on in and pretty darn well destroy everything. I call these guys in because I know they're good. They've got really good HE power. Good rate of fire, so I know they'd be really effective against infantry. But they'll get blown up by um, that bomber that you just saw fly by. So I grab this. I know they're in the tree line. Napalm! Eat that. And these guys are helping to clear this area out as I set it on fire again. Which forces the command unit to move, which allows me to deploy a bit some more. Another SU-7BKL. Not too many marks on either side. I thought they were in the woods, so I set the woods on fire because it kept taking this area so I couldn't spawn. Turns out the command unit was sitting over here the entire time. <coughs> I still set everything on fire anyway. Situation over here is still not particularly good, but this guy has an SU-22M3 that is taking out ground units. I'm assuming he's killed... Oh, he's killed one Leopard 2A4, not the other one yet, so that's 25% of the uh, Leopard 2A4s are on the map gone. Oh, that he can deploy. And Buddy loses his SU-22. <coughs> Boom! The fight over here continues. <coughs> I 
I don't think these guys survive. Shaken. Nope, they survived completely unscathed. These guys are out of ammunition. But here come the supply trucks. And I know they're still in this in the woods there, so some more fire bombers. Which I think they saw coming. Nope, they're just moving the uh, M577G, the command unit. And it gets caught in the fire. <coughs> just trying to clear the woods out. And so it's pretty quiet throughout most of the map. I don't know why this is being up, brought up there exposed. Some Jupiters with no with no uh, nothing in them. Sending recon up, setting things on fire, which is perfectly reasonable. Yeah, there's nothing in the woods. <coughs> I call on a helicopter to try to get rid of that thing. I did get helicopters into the rear. I didn't show that, but they got killed. I managed to do some damage to this, but wasn't enough. I didn't see it in time. I'm trying to kill that command unit so I don't have to worry about it. I'm doing a pretty good job of keeping it out of the way. And here comes some more Alpha Jets shooting up my helicopters there. And... If I'm correct... It doesn't survive that. Nope, it doesn't survive that run. And this guy's trying desperately to shoot that thing and blow it up. I didn't see that mark. One nice thing with this, the ZSU-57, if it hits, which more often than not it can... OH YOU LUCKY SON OF A BITCH! That's why that died. Oh, ho, 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 ho. could that have not worked better for you? Oh, so that's how that died. That's just a freaking stroke of luck right there. That by all means should not have happened. Ah. Oh. Yeah, he's got his napalm from the other guy there. The fight's continuing on the right, and a little bit to a very limited degree there. I do send in the infantry to try to clear this out. It's too close for him to use his bombs, so he's not. That guy just got owned. <clears throat> I send the infantry in to try to get rid of that command unit. Unfortunately, he I did set this stuff on fire once they took this to prevent them from spawning stuff there. But it doesn't really stop them. They still get a lot of stuff out. Bunch of my stuff got caught up there. Boom. Missed. Got the command unit. Yay! But they still have stuff deploying. Mostly pretty badly damaged, but it's got in. And these guys are trying to kill it, but I just don't have anything there. It does kill a few things. At least hurt it. For the moment, it looks like they've won. It looks like they've got this place. But I saw these guys coming in, so I napalm, and my napalm bomber dies. I see them coming in there, so I napalm here as well. And try to give them some grief and cause issues. These guys respond and start shooting these in the, in the flanks. And this guy's just kind of stuck there. So he starts shooting and doesn't actually kill anything, I don't think. He keeps driving into the fire. Oh, that's great. Thank you!
still sniffly. This guy's trying to get this stuff out. They're doing a decent job of it. But HK's doing a good attack there. He's got a command, another command unit coming in. He's got some mortars to help him. My infantry get napalmed. Not before clearing out the woods, but they got napalmed. And now that we've got this place back with thankfully another command helicopter in exactly the same spot as the previous one that died, I call in some T-55Ls just as the fire clears to help clear out the infantry that is around this area. And this guy, Newport, also spawns in a T-64 BV and then a T-72B. Some really good stuff. Now I know they're in there, so I napalm. <laughs> My usual go-to strategy. They're probably in the woods, so let's set the woods on fire. And I send infantry units to the woods, knowing that they'll be panicked if there's anything left. I had these tanks advancing, but panicked when I saw this thing and pulled them back. This guy's pulled in these, and then proceeds to fly them over the fire and they die. Which is a real pity. Marine Jaeger, I wonder how much intelligence that's giving them. It's showing all this stuff behind the lines and that thing there, and where the mortars are. That's kind of unfortunate. Good use of these. This is why you should always clear out, make sure all the buildings are clear when you move on. dead. All the infantry dead. And he drives into the fire. It's like the fire does have friendly fire. It's fire. Fire is kind of non-specific with its targets. And so he effectively got himself killed. I had stuck some cubs in the back because I was getting tired of all the aircraft flying by. Now HK is continuing on his assault in this direction. Napalming these things here, which is a really darn good idea. Didn't stop them from killing the T-72s in one epic launch. But they are on fire, and these things don't last very long to fire. As they start blowing up. We're ahead in points now because they've abandoned India to try to get a command unit up there, and they don't have Juliet. They're trying to contest this, so I can't be, can't spawn stuff in Foxtrot anymore. And they're doing it with a command chieftain. Still clearing stuff out of the woods here. The command chieftain is under attack by the T-64 BV. It's not doing so well because it's shaken. And the T-72 is going to join in, but it's also not going to do very well because it's shaken and will probably be killed by the command tank. Fighting Falcon shows up and this is going to be destroyed by those bombs because those are big freaking bombs. 1,000 kilogram bombs. A bunch of these things have shown up now. These M48s against T-55s, which is a pretty darn fair fight really. My guys set the woods on fire there, and I set the tanks on fire to stun them. These guys are calm, firing at their, fighting at their most capable. These guys are going to be panicked, and they're not going to be fighting at their most capable level. Instead, they're going to be coming out of the smoke and fire panicked, and my T-55Ls will tear them up. If they could hit. I do hope they hit someone. Boom. Boom. Yes! It got it just before it went. Aha! Uh, this guy's requesting napalm from his ally. They're doing a very good job advancing on the right. They've, they have this command unit on the run, which really isn't helping them because they could have really used this reinforcement point to bring in anti-aircraft, but they didn't, and now... They're not going to have the opportunity to either, because they're going to start camping there, so that's a loss for them. We have the momentum on my side. 
I tried to send these guys across to attack here, but it didn't really work out that well. And these guys are still doing their thing. For some reason, they're low on fuel. But they're at full fuel, so something's glitched out there, as far as the icons go. These T-55s, uh, five L's do show, uh, put up a very good accounting for themselves. Oh, that thunderbolt! Boom! And there it goes. But it does get some kills. They bombed my T-55s, and this thing was just killing them with the toes. There wasn't too much it could do about that. But the T-55s, combined with napalm, did put an end to this M48 rush here. This is still there. It is still giving them some valuable intelligence as to where their artillery is, where that flak unit is, and that they're moving up motor strikey in the open. Giving them some very valuable information in that regard. That, that's Newport. <clears throat> I moved up these guys. So I've got some infantry strellas there now, and I'm going to move them into that building with a attack move. So if there's an aircraft that comes near them, they know to stop and shoot. All these helicopters are over there, hiding. So, we command most of the map, and we're getting the points. <coughs> I know there are command units somewhere in here, so I proceed to move in there and just napalm the entire area. Hoping to get this thing to move, which it does. Oof, my poor stuff, getting blown up by 1,000 kilogram bombs. <coughs> but it doesn't always get out. That one will. It gets out a lot of the time. This thing is so deep in the fire, it might actually die as a result of that bombing run. Yeah, it's going to die. He's trying to get out. He's turning around. Yes, napalm can kill tanks, as evidenced by this. Boom. There he goes. And I don't know why this guy keeps flying his helicopters over the fire, but it's just, it's going to kill them. But he keeps doing it. Another enemy plane down. Is that an enemy plane? Yes. So this thing is going to die in the fire, unfortunately. That mirage does not escape. There's some yaks going. On the right, they've moved up to here, almost where they spawn troops. Which really isn't very good for them. The Hueys and everything have been spotted by this. And, well, the Hueys have chain guns. These miniguns. And they're going to own those Sokols. But it doesn't change the fact that we've advanced to this place here, and he's even got stuff here. They're out of ammunition. He's trying to pull back, and this is funny, because here's a Grenzer right there, with Rollins right next to him. Yeah, they're going to take that out, but they're probably going to die to the Grenzer. And now those Flak Panzers, we're doing a good job holding everything off are just not going to be able to hold off tanks. And this place is very secure in Foxtrot now. The fighting in Foxtrot is over. <coughs> the M48's come in again. These are just, they're not good enough. They're, they're not going to do it. Or at least I'm not sure... You'd have to use them like I use T-55s, which is pretty sa darn sacrificial. I just send them in to die. 
And they don't have anything like the T-34 or PT or PB-7... No, PT-78B or whatever it's called. I'll be calling them a bunch of... I'll be calling in a bunch of them so you can see what I'm talking about specifically. These things... They're... You have to use these like those. Why is he driving down the road at in reverse, doing like 110 kilometers an hour? And how did he get turned around? So I clear that out. I'm kind of confused as to how he got turned around. And these chieftains, T-55s and T-55Ls are actually a match for Chieftain Mark Fives. I wasn't expecting that. I consider the T-55 to be utter crap, and yet I use it a lot, but they're a match for these. Impressively a match. Now one for one, they'll get owned, but they didn't do bad. That's a good use of the M48s right there. <coughs> Boom. Marines are going to take out the BMPs. MiG-29 goes down. T-55s are going to continue to advance. This guy's calling it a bunch of these things. That's still there. But by this point, there's not a heck of a lot they can do with the intelligence that that thing provides. These guys come in. We have a bunch of Tomcats. We have a Tomcat F-15A in the back. Mirage in the back. F-16A in the back. And this guy is moving in on this position here. In a moment, we'll have their unit spawn on lockdown. So they're not going to actually be able to deploy anything else. LAV just gets destroyed on the bridge. Boom! Both of them go. And now what they've got is effectively what they can fight with. This command unit is withdrawing. They only have India and Hotel left. With not a heck of a lot of troops left. Boom! And that command unit's gone. Ah, yes, the PT-76B Descent. Which is supposedly an amphibious tank, but this game... Currently, the next version has amphibious you know, units actually functioning. This one doesn't. Seeing the very bad situation there, and instead of doing the line assault across the map, I just order the T-34s to charge down the road. <clears throat> I stop the T-55s. Not necessarily because I'm looking for extra support, but because I'm going to set the woods on fire. And let's zoom in and do it. Hide hut. There we go. Now there's a view! The view from the plane as they come in. Just a line of aircraft flying in what is roughly a formation. Off go the napalm bombs and that guy died. Setting the woods on fire. Some of the stuff is coming out into the view of the T-55s. <coughs> and the T-34s are joining in on the rampage. It's going very well. I don't know what those T-34s are doing. They just like, we're gonna go off the road! Oh, never mind. Some of the final fights are happening over here. Let's get the HUD back up so you can see what it is. These guys are firing rockets in this direction. And it's basically just almost over, because they don't they only have that stuff left there. They do have stuff that can do damage. I'll give them that, but not a heck of a lot. Well, if they pushed harder, they might actually have been able to push through. Hide the HUD. T-34s are just driving here. They spot the command unit hiding right there and kill it. An armored command unit destroyed by T-55s. That, that, <laughs> that was worth points. Ten point unit killing like a 240 point unit or something. We know their command unit is here. How do we end up killing it eventually? Yaks! Um, 
napalm and napalm. And this thing is there. None of those things can actually really kill it. Oh, there we go. We set it on fire and it dies in the fire. Poof. End of the game. And for the first time ever, really, my deck achieved a 2 to 1 kill to death ratio with a category C Polish deck. A fun little battle. I had fun. It was a good one. Have fun, everybody. See you later.